Good evening, curious mind. Imagine a world where the heavens themselves hold the potential for both wonder and peril, where a single celestial body could alter the course of history. Apophis is no ordinary rock in the sky. It's a reminder that we're part of a much larger, ever-evolving cosmic story. But fear not, dear viewers, tonight we'll unravel the mysteries surrounding this enigmatic asteroid, separating fact from fiction and exploring the science that keeps our planet safe. So. Settle in, grab your favourite stargazing snack and prepare to be captivated by the incredible tale of Apophis, an asteroid that brings the vastness of space just a little closer to home. Are you ready to embark on this adventure with me? Let's dive in. Apophis is no ordinary asteroid. It's a celestial body that has stirred both curiosity and concern since its discovery in 2004. Named after the Egyptian god of chaos, Apophis captured the imagination of astronomers and the public alike with its potential to cause havoc. When first identified, Apophis briefly reached level four on the Torino Impact Hazard Scale, a system that measures the potential threat near-Earth objects pose to our planet. To put this scale in perspective, a score of zero indicates no likelihood of impact, while a score of 10 signifies a certain collision capable of causing global catastrophe, a scenario that conjures images of mass extinctions and planet-wide destruction. But what made Apophis particularly alarming was the timing of its potential impact. Early calculations suggested a chance, however slim, that this asteroid could collide with Earth on Friday, April 13th, 2029 an ominous date that only heightened the sense of impending doom. For a brief period, it seemed that humanity might face a cosmic reckoning unlike anything we've ever experienced. The global scientific community was thrust into action, recalculating trajectories, refining measurements, and closely monitoring this so-called cosmic monster as it hurtled through space. As the data rolled in, the initial shock of Apophis's discovery gave way to a more measured response. By 2006, thanks to improved orbital predictions and ongoing observations, scientists were able to rule out the possibility of a collision in 2029. However, the asteroid would still make an exceptionally close approach closer than many of our geostationary satellites, at a distance of just 31,000 kilometers from Earth. Such proximity, while not catastrophic, was unprecedented for an object of its size, and it became clear that Apophis would not fade quietly into the annals of astronomy. Further calculations extended the timeline of concern. Potential impacts in 2036 and 2068 were also considered, although these two were eventually ruled out with the advent of more precise measurements. Yet, the story of Apophis was far from over. This asteroid had become a symbol of the unpredictable nature of space, a reminder that even as we advance our understanding of the cosmos, we're still at the mercy of its countless unknowns. Recently, Apophis re-emerged in the scientific spotlight thanks to a new study led by Canadian astronomer Paul Wiegert. Wiegert, known for his meticulous research on near-Earth objects, explored a scenario that had largely been overlooked, the possibility of a smaller object colliding with Apophis and altering its trajectory toward Earth. The study revealed a fascinating twist in the narrative of Apophis. While previous assessments had ruled out any significant collision threat from known asteroids, 
the possibility of smaller, less detectable objects like space debris or meteoroids impacting Apophis remained a wild card. Wiegert's findings suggested that an impactor as small as 0.6 meters could potentially nudge Apophis into a collision course with Earth, while an object around 3.4 meters could have an even more dramatic effect. This raised a series of critical questions. Could such a small object really change the fate of Apophis? What would be the consequences if it did? And most importantly, how likely is such a scenario? To understand the true risk, Wiegert and his team delved deep into the probabilities. Their calculations showed that the chances of an asteroid striking Apophis between now and 2029 are exceptionally low, less than one in two billion. For a smaller object that might redirect Apophis toward a later collision, the odds drop to less than one in a million. These are astronomically low numbers, emphasizing the rarity of such an event. However, the mere existence of such a possibility, no matter how remote, adds a layer of intrigue and perhaps a touch of anxiety to the story of Apophis. It serves as a reminder that while we can predict and prepare for many cosmic events, there are still elements beyond our control, hidden within the vastness of space. Speaking of space, let's take a moment to consider its sheer scale. The distances involved are almost incomprehensible and the objects we're discussing, though relatively large by human standards, are mere specks in the cosmic expanse. The vastness of space means that even with millions of objects orbiting the Sun, the chances of two small bodies colliding are incredibly slim. Imagine two grains of sand on opposite sides of a football field, hurtling toward each other with the hope or fear that they might meet. The odds are so low that it's almost a miracle when such collisions occur. And even if they do, the impact must be perfectly aligned to send Apophis towards Earth. This delicate cosmic ballet reminds us of both the fragility and resilience of our place in the universe. As we look ahead to 2027, a crucial year for monitoring Apophis, we find ourselves on the cusp of technological advancements that will significantly enhance our ability to track and predict the paths of near-Earth objects. By then, new telescopes, radar systems and space missions will provide a clearer, more detailed view of Apophis's trajectory. Scientists will be watching closely for any subtle changes, whether from natural forces or unforeseen impacts. This period of heightened observation will be crucial. Should any significant alterations be detected, the scientific community will have the opportunity to devise strategies for mitigating potential threats. Whether through deflection techniques or simply refining our understanding of Apophis's path, these efforts will be a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to adapt to the challenges of space. But beyond the science, Apophis invites us to reflect on our place in the cosmos. The universe is an intricate dance of celestial bodies where close encounters and potential collisions are part of the natural order. Apophis, in its journey through space, is not just a potential threat, it's a reminder of the interconnectedness of all things. Our planet, while seemingly isolated in the vastness of space, is part of a larger cosmic system. The forces that govern the movement of asteroids, comets and planets are the same forces that have shaped the evolution of life on Earth. By studying objects like Apophis, we gain insight not only into the potential dangers of space, but also into the origins and future of our own world. In ancient times, such a presence in the sky might have been seen as a harbinger of change. But today, with science as our guide, we don't just look to the stars for omens. We study them, seek to understand them, and in doing so, for whatever the cosmos may send our way. We'll be watching closely. Let's continue to support scientific research and space exploration. 
for these endeavours expand our horizons and equip us with the tools to navigate the challenges ahead. In the end, Apophis is not just a cosmic monster, it's an opportunity, a catalyst for advancing our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Conclusion Mr Cornwell, thank you for joining me on this journey through the story of Apophis. As we continue to gaze up at the night sky, let us do so with a sense of wonder and a commitment to learning. After all, the universe is vast and there is so much more waiting to be discovered.